Hello everyone, I welcome you to my show Rocket Mondays, episode 2. So today we're gonna look at why NASA sucks. Now I do uh, understand that this title may come off as like clickbaity, but I assure you there is a lot of truth to this statement. So let's dive into it. First thing you have to understand, what is NASA? So all things considered, in simplest sense, think of it this way. Russia started space race and USA needed a way to counter it. So they created NASA one year after the launch of Sputnik, the first satellite in orbit. So it was created to have a lot of companies work together under one umbrella like NASA and create a Apollo program sole purpose to compete against Russia and at the end they were given a goal that put a man to the moon so did they, they did that fabulously and uh, there were a lot of companies under it like and these, these these companies played a big role and there are many more companies that's why I said it's more like a firm that you know they design the thing and then they give the design to other companies including IBM and uh, so this is what NASA is no, okay so What's the problem with NASA? So you have to understand, NASA was created in a fearful environment where people were afraid. So it was given as high of a budget as 5% upwards of 5% of national budget. That is a lot of money that was poured into NASA. And uh, you might say, okay, what is current? It's 0.5%. So suffice to say, it never been the same after the Cold War ended. So. What happened after that? Now, after that, politics got into it. And uh, suffice to say, NASA had created some seriously bad things, specifically space shuttle. Now, this craft was so bad, it did not deliver even on one thing that it's supposed to do. Not even one single thing it managed to do correctly. It's supposed to be cheap, it wasn't. It's supposed to be reusable, it costed so much to repair and refurbish that it was pointless to do. And it's supposed to be safe, it blew up and killed 14 people. It's supposed to be, you know, uh, cutting edge and it should have a lot of reusability. Again, the ref uh, it did not did that. And it's supposed to be able to launch almost every two weeks. They barely managed to do two launches a year sometimes three so all things considered space shuttle failed uh, miserably and uh, why did that happen well rocket scientists they when they got together and they designed multiple projects like we can approach uh, in this 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 way to you know achieve our goal of sending a payload to low earth orbit now because politics was involved and the uh, Plans were given to the, you know, politician presidents to, you know, sign. Senators played a very big role in this. Space shuttle was selected, which even people in NASA themselves knew that it is a bad idea. It's so bad, I have to make another video and it will be freaking one hour long just to tell how bad it was. And NASA knew it. And because of politics, they agreed to make it. And to make matters worse, the first shuttle accident that happened was solely happened because NASA ignored safety protocol. They received a phone call that solid booster will blow up if they fire it. And they still, you know, launched it and kaboom. They killed knowingly seven people in the first shutter disaster. So suffice to say they have blood on their hand and uh, let's look into the more inter like you may have some good memories of space shuttle. Okay, fair enough, but it failed miserably. It failed so badly they had to kill the project before it could even, uh, you know, before e a replacement project could even be ready. So now USA ended up in a really bad situation where they have to go to uh, Russia and ask them for ancient rocket and uh, this is cheaper. It works better so suffice to say space shuttle was a really giant pilot now what happened after that now after that nasa struggled a lot and uh, the reason why it struggles a lot is with money they are just bad with it they just they are just bad now how, what politics plays uh, what role politics plays into this is very simple because uh, they need money they tell senators hey if you support my initiative of you know uh, allotting budget i will in return open a nasa center in your uh, state and uh, in return you will have employment so that's how this works. now problem of this design is that it means everything is uh, scattered everywhere on the map like there are so many nasa centers there are so many places where things are manufactured and then assembled into one central location 
is just pointlessly idiotically expensive and uh, this james webb supposed to be built at the cost of 500 million dollar now people are like okay that's a guess budget so okay 1 billion dollar as of now it's this many year behind schedule as of now its budget crossed 10 billion dollar suffice to say that was the <laughs> at that money they could have sent a man back to the moon so today we learned few things a nasa was a war organization created in a hurry b that nasa really really needs to get away from politics c nasa really sucks with its money and budgetary allowances so that's what was my primary reason why nasa sucks i hope you like this presentation i hope i wish to see you all next time on next uh, episode of rocket mondays and if you liked it please like if you dislike it please dislike and as always subscribe and click the bell if you are free so thanks for watching